I have not given you guys a message in a while, so I am here today to give you your message, your Law of Attraction message from my deck, the Addiction Recovery with the Law of Attraction. And um, so I've got today's message for you. And this one I really love, and I, it's bringing up a conversation that I just had with a friend of mine. We were discussing, um, she was having some issues with her daughter. We were discussing the difference between processing your feelings. Like we do need to feel our feelings, right? You'll hear, you'll hear me say that a lot. Like we're supposed to feel stuff when things go wrong, right? We are supposed to, like for instance, you, um, lose a relationship, you break up with somebody, you're supposed to be sad. You don't take antidepressants during a time when you're supposed to be sad, when you're grieving something. You could be grieving a job loss. Um, yes, that's a sad thing. You're supposed to feel those feelings and process them. The difference is we don't wanna keep those feelings and dwell on them for so long that we become those feelings. So there is a difference. So that's when that's the stuff that leads to depression and even anxiety. Like, yes, when somebody dies, when our pet dies, we're going to be sad and you're supposed to feel that. Do not take pills to numb that out because we need to, that stops you from processing those feelings. It keeps it in your body um, instead of working through them. So, you know, if, if you are super depressed and your doctor prescribes, obviously take them, but don't just at the first sign of depression during something sad, take a pill. Just understand, you're, it's okay to feel sad. We're supposed to be sad sometimes. Um, sad things happen. This is part of living on earth. So having said that, I will read this card because what I got was positive thoughts. And it says, every thought is a vibration. So that's why I wanted to kind of preface this reading to making sure everybody knows, like, yes, it's great to be a positive person, but don't be positive vibes only. I'm, I'm teach law of attraction and I'm not a positive vibes only person because I understand we also need to process feelings and we can do that while keeping a positive, optimistic outlook and catching ourselves when we're dwelling too long. Like, you know, there, I know there's no timeline for grief. I know, but there also are certain, certain people who never go get help, seek guidance, seek help. Taking a pill is not always the answer, okay? So now, having said all that, every thought that you have has a specific frequency, a vibration. We are always transmitting out signals and inviting experiences into our life through our thoughts and our feelings. The way to manifest your thoughts into things is to believe and to live as if you've already accomplished your goal. When it comes to addiction, it is easy to get discouraged because we have the tendency to focus on our current reality. So the challenge today is to change your perception by changing your mindset. So weight loss is a perfect example. Our weight tends to fluctuate even when we are doing our best and we're sticking to the plan. So when you get on the scale and you see a few extra pounds, the way you perceive that weight gain truly matters because you are creating your future in that moment through your perception. Instead of feeling discouraged, this is the time to practice thoughts that are in alignment with weight loss instead of in alignment with weight gain. So an example is I am so happy now that I am on my way to my perfect weight. So we might, you know, be patient with yourself and be realistic with expectations because there are natural fluctuations in our weight, right? When you're, even when you're doing everything perfect and sometimes that weight gain you see on the scale is actually a muscle gain. You're gaining muscle um, if you're eating proper nutrient dense food. Okay, so feeling guilty or shameful will lead to thoughts and actions that pull you further from your goal. So if you find yourself unable to convince yourself today that you're on the right track, just get off the subject completely. Change your focus to a different topic that you feel better about so you don't pull yourself down a self-destructive shame spiral. It is not more difficult to think positive thoughts than to think negatively. You only feel that way because you've practiced the pessimistic thoughts more than the optimistic ones. So you can change this thought pattern now by practicing better feeling thoughts. And there's always a better feeling thought. 
On the other hand, if you're feeling fantastic today, get extremely specific with your intentions. This is the time to focus on your goal. Take inspired action and milk those good feelings for everything they're worth. Okay, so what I'm saying here is if you're feeling, um, we're, we're always attracting what we're feeling more than what we're thinking even. So like, like that scale was a great example. If you're trying to lose weight and you look at that scale and you, you're feeling oh, like I, I, discouraged because you have like maybe a pound weight gain. Just remember, there's, you, it's, it's all about that feeling because you could actually put yourself on a downward spiral and be like, this isn't working. And then you end up sabotaging yourself, self-sabotage. So no excuses. Just remind yourself, this is a process. This is a journey. Be patient. We might not see immediate results, but it will work with consistency. And remember, we cannot rely on motivation. Motivation does not last for anybody. Not everybody's, nobody's always motivated. Let's put it that way. But what we can have is discipline and commitment. That's what's going to keep you get going to your goals, reaching for your goals. And that mindset does matter. It really does. But appropriately, right? Like if something bad happens, don't beat yourself up and shame spiral about feeling sad because we're supposed to be sad. We're human. We're, we're, we're spiritual beings, but we're having a human experience. So don't forget to be human. Okay. I hope that made sense. Um, and I'm learning so much in my practice that and I just said this to my friend this morning that every, the root cause of almost every problem that I see in my practice is an addiction, a form of addiction that people don't realize are addictions. And obsessing with th thoughts, obsessing with our body, um, overthinking about things that we can't control, that's an addiction. Our thoughts, our obsessive thoughts, those are addictions. Negative thoughts are addictions. They are creating these limiting beliefs that are literally blocking us from everything. These limiting beliefs are blocking us. We can do anything that we believe, anything in our personal belief system. So you see how when you have those, you're blocking yourself. You, when you don't believe, yes, I am worthy. Yes, I can do it. Yes. This, you know, it's, it's not just true for other people. It's true for me too. Okay. So I hope this helped you guys. Let me know in the comments below and I hope you have a wonderful day.